Welcome back. All right, so you know what I'm saying I haven't posted in two weeks, but I made so many videos, but I had to delete them because my sound is messed up. You know what I'm saying I didn't check before I posted. I don't know why. It's kind of slow like that, but today we got worst punishments in horror movies. Now, I've been watching like a lot of like horror movie stuff on my own time. But I was like, why not watch it with y'all? Duh. Horror movies, it's not uncommon for the characters to go through some insane punishments. Today we'll look at some of the most... Bro, me personally, the worst punishments is things that have to do with the eyes. Like, they just make me, like, squ squeamish, squirmish, way, know whatever that word is. Only crazy moments, but just a few that I thought were pretty good. At one point in planning this video, I had more than 80 picks. See, like, stuff like that, like the, the eyes. That really stood out. So even though it wasn't that well received, a cure for wellness has an incredible atmosphere in my hands? and setting. We follow the young What's and ambitious Lockhart who goes to a bizarre wellness spa in the Swiss Alps, which is oh, run by a strange doctor. Even though Lockhart is only supposed to pick up the CEO of his company and bring him back Word. to the United States, he Word. soon winds up as a patient himself and slowly discovers the dark secrets of this isolated facility. What movie now, is the this? isn't too happy that he's constantly snooping around and this leads to various punishments from the lead doctor. Probably the worst Ooh. one comes when one of Lockhart's teeth becomes loose. He pulls it out and shortly thereafter brings it to a staff member, and while doing so, he spots a chance to enter a part of the facility that is off-limits and for staff only. Seeing this as an opportunity to find out what's really happening here, Lockhart decides to go inside. Unfortunately, he's Investigation? quickly spotted by some of the employees who won't let him off so easily. When pressed about what the hell he's doing here, Lockhart mentions the tooth he lost, and this gives the lead doctor, Heinrich Wallner, so an for idea. His tooth. He takes him to a small room where they can examine his teeth. But once inside, he's quickly strapped down, and the dentist takes a small drill right to his mouth. Ooh, what is that for? Ew. One thing that is clearly taken advantage of here is that everyone hates going to the dentist, and merely the thought of having a scary, high-pitched drill in your mouth is enough for most people to not go for a long time. And the fact that they actually showed what was happening here was pretty impressive, and I didn't think that they would do it before. No, that has to be painful. It. Now, in the last video, we Bro, you know what I hate? Like, touching death cold stuff with your teeth. Movies. But now we're going to look at one that was among the most memorable. Fun fact, I actually watched this, but... This is one of the videos that the audio wasn't, but now you know what I'm saying? Look at one that was Cooperating the memorable, with the feds. Which is in the fifth so. movie. By the way, Final Destination 5 was I way better than I thought it would be. In that entry, we follow a group of eight employees on Concept a is unique. Retreat. They're taking a small bus and at one point cross a bridge. Here, our main character, Sam, has a premonition that they will all die in a big accident. After his vision is over, he convinces all of his friends to leave early. Well, I've been watching this channel. They were talking about like how to beat every movie. I watched about three of these, like how to beat Final Destination. Now come after them. And one way that a group member is targeted is especially evil. A few days after cheating her death, Olivia has an appointment for her LASIK eye surgery. Of course. Now I know the following scene has like a million inaccuracies. I seen some real Final Destination type stuff on Instagram, right? So this lady was walking, and then a tire rolled past her, bounced off the wall, came back, and hit her in her head. Ain't no way. She's just destined and it to die. Any sense, I'm sorry. But it's still an exciting moment. So Olivia is a little nervous at the doctor's office, but continues anyway. She follows the doctor into a dark room where she's asked to lie under the laser machine. Her head is fixed in place so that she can't move. It. Oh, I actually seen this a long time ago. This the right here. Leaves, and Olivia is all alone. Yeah. And through an odd series of Bro, events, meticulous. Never in my life will I go on an airplane. I just can't bring myself to do it. And after watching stuff like this, it's like 110% more certain I'm not going on an airplane. The LASIK machine I feel like I'll be the one to just crash. The laser into her eye with much more power than it is supposed to. All right, chill. Chill out. 
survive this, Eyes only injuries. for them to slip and fall out of the window on top of a car. Now, yes, this oh scene gosh. is, of course, Gruesome. total bullshit. But it really did make a lot of people afraid of getting any kind of eye surgery, as they thought something like this could really happen. Yeah, well, I mean, I know that LASIK surgery I'll believe is a it lot too. safer I'm an than a final lie. destination. Ain't I'm no still way. Going to stick with my glasses. Now let's cover Bro. a movie that was. You know what I was looking at? I know I'm talking way too much, my bad. But I was on the bridge, right? Driving across the bridge. And I looked over, and, like, they're working on the bridge. And I just see cones lined up, like, separated. And I'm thinking, like, this is not safe at all. Like, if I want to, I could just walk over the cones and I'll just die. Like, there's no, like, no more barriers than just a cone. I'm like... It's really just a lot of fun. It's a horror movie. All about but choices. A fun one. And it's what if I just babysitter. walk off and Here, just. Here, 12 year old Cole is living the dream. He has a super hot babysitter who does a bunch of really cool stuff with him. To probably no one's surprise, Cole is the uber loser in school. It's portrayed this way in the movie. I mean, even Jump. his mom thinks he's a pussy. I think you are at a time where. A lot of things Getting are wedgies and but when the is there, it's all okay. Never be me. But Might be some of y'all, though. The babysitter has some friends over for a small hangout at Cole's house. But it turns out that it's some kind of satanic ritual where they sacrifice another guy in order to get what they want. Cole witnesses all of this and calls the police to get some help. The rest of the group then head upstairs to Cole and draw some of his blood for the ritual as they think he's unconscious when really he's just pretending to be asleep. During the sequence, B eventually finds out that Cole witnessed the ritual, so they tie him up in the living room and question him. But only a short amount of time later, the police arrive. Here there is a pretty insane fight scene with a number of crazy things going on, some of which I might want to cover in another Let me video. Guess, the police but the craziest one is when Max throws a fire poker through one of the cops' eyes. And then later on, uses the rod to break Ain't the skull no of one of the way. Eyes. And then you let him cock back, do all this exaggerated highlight motion. My quick draw is different. You know what I'm saying? I, look. And later on, uses what? the rod to break his skull apart. Yeah. This is such an over-the-top kill, and it just comes out of nowhere. The impact a is trained a professional police officer so can't get it up. Kills here, if but you it's know still very mean. extreme. This next one is more of a mystery thriller than a straight-up horror, but it has an extremely intriguing premise. 2013's Oculus centers around two siblings, Oculus. Kaylee and Tim Russell, who run a small private experiment on a mirror. They both had a terrible childhood after their father came into possession of this evil mirror that causes unexplainable deaths wherever it is. For example, mm -hmm. one of the previous owners was found dead of dehydration in a bathtub filled with water. Perhaps the mirror's most prevalent power is its ability to manipulate reality, making you see things that aren't really there. Never heard of this and this before. is where the mirror pulls some incredibly nasty tricks. One of them is when the dad has a small injury on his finger and he covers it with a band-aid. He eventually takes it off so that he can type on his keyboard properly. But even after seeing it off and being placed on the other side of the desk, the band-aid reappears on his finger. And no matter how hard he pulls, it won't come off. So what's Stop. next? Well, if you haven't seen this clip, I can almost you promise off. you it will change how you will look at some of your office equipment. He takes one of these sharp staple removers and starts forcing it under what he thinks is the band-aid so that it finally comes off. However, that's only the hallucination. Yes, in reality, he was sinking this sharp tool into his fingernail. What's so bad about this for me is that when you look at the D stapler, you can see his entire torn, ripped off fingernail still on the end. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that worked for me. Look at my fingernail. Now I don't know about you, but ever since the first time I watched this movie when I was 13, every time I see a D stapler to this day, this is the only thing I can think of. I actually got the idea of including this clip because one guy at work used this thing. It was the first time I've seen this object in five years, 
and instantly my mind went to Oculus. Now we're going to cover another Mike Flanagan movie. I usually really like his stuff, so yeah. This one is Gerald's Game, and if you've seen the movie, you probably know where I'm going Heard with about this. it on Netflix. So Gerald's Game is a Stephen King story with an extremely simple plot. A couple goes to a remote house to have some adult fun time. But during hey, the movie, something goes horribly wrong. Gerald handcuffs Jesse to their bed. Just calm down, guys. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm a straight male, but can we acknowledge this guy's insane freaking body for like two seconds? He's almost that's not gay. Years old here. That's not He's gay. Than most of us it's a compliment, his body. Health. Anyway, Gerald dies of a heart attack pretty much right after handcuffing Jesse to the bed, and she's totally stuck there now. Now, the clip I'll cover is Ain't no way. spoilers, but it is sort of predictable. What is the, the likelihood story, of this? This movie can really only go one way. So towards the end, Jesse realizes that there's only one way out. She tried every little thing, and it doesn't work. So she's just got to cut her way out. Oh, what well, is that? Way. She cuts her hand open in an incredibly dangerous act of using a shard from a broken glass. Jesse cuts her hand a little, and then proceeds to violently force her hand out of the cuff, and this freaking thing happens. Oh, brother. She rips off all the skin from her hand. Unfortunately, I can't show that much. That's just how YouTube works, I'm sorry. But it is insanely brutal. And Carla Gugino's visceral acting makes it really believable. Great job, Mike Flanagan. Ruined office equipment, mirrors, handcuffs, what's that, air. I really love this movie because it felt like a horror movie for grown-ups covering much more mature themes, which is really refreshing because most horror movies, and most movies in general, Nearly target a younger audience, which makes a lot of sense from a financial time standpoint. Time for the grown folks. But that makes Welcome the movie to your like own stand out even more. All anyway, right, that's it. Hmm. What do you think was the worst punishment? I'm not gonna lie, the eyes was crazy. Anything had to do with eyes, I just. I actually got hit in my eye a few times with like blood and everything. Scared half to death. We survived! Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'm catch y'all later.